okay good morning class 9 as last day my video was incomplete so st starting from there last day i told you that the earth is moving around the sun because all the heavenly bodies in the planetary part of the solar system, they move around the sun in an elliptical orbit. Now, I told you why it moves around the sun. Because the sun has its own gravitational force, which make these planets attracted towards itself. And so they are moving around the sun. All the planets, including the earth, orbit the sun in the same direction that is anti-clockwise when viewed from top now all planet except venus and uranus they spin and rotates about their axis in the same direction that is while orbiting the sun as an exceptional case Venus and Uranus spin about their about about their axis in a clockwise direction. While the other planets are moving in the anti-clockwise direction, Venus and Neptune moves in a clockwise direction, unlike other planets. Uranus has a unique is unique among all the planets for in the sense its axis of rotation lies close to the orbital plane. It rolls on its side along its orbital path around and that's why whereas the other planets they spin more or less upright but it is not spinning but it rolls along its orbital path now the earth rotates like a top top you means you know what you are you, the, uh, you are playing about its axis and at the same time it moves around the sun in an anti clockwise manner on a definite elliptical orbit thus the earth has two movements one is rotation which is on its own axis and the revolution that is along the movement along the orbit around the sun. There is a brief observation of the earth's movement. As we have seen in earlier days scientists held many processes to find out what is happening in the up in the sky. They thought that the earth was in the center and the sun was moving around it in a um, stationary while the sun, stars, planets, they move around it in a revolut revolution. So for the ancient people it was something natural but as discovered was made it has been found that no, the uh, earth is moving. Um, they, according to the, them, the sun rose in the east in the morning and set in the west in the evening. So all these were their way of thinking. Because they saw the sunrise. They also saw the other stars and planets moved across the sky. So this pattern was repeated in uh, what to say uh, every day in a cycle which imp uh, impelled revolution of these objects. So there was no reason or question among them that there is a movement up there. This heavenly body is moving. So by the 4th century BC, the Greeks had developed the picture of the stars as a fixed and a celestial sphere. This sphere rotated about the earth. The orbit of the heavenly bodies were then 
thought to be circular. In the second century AD, Ptolemy developed a complex system of circles within circles called epicycles or reproduce the celestial pattern. In sixteenth century, Polish astronomer, that is Nicholas Copernicus, he proposed that the sun is stationary. It is standing at the center, while the earth and the planets, the moons, they are moving around it. But his view was not accepted so easily. Whereas his model was also not accepted. Another competing model of the same time was that brought by a Danish astrologer that is Tycho Brahe. According to him, the sun and the moon revolved around the earth while everything also revolved around the sun. That means the earth is stationary, the sun is moving around the earth and other planets, they are moving around the sun. Thus, his model gave support to Paul, uh, Ptolemy's model. Copernicus also did not have the tools to prove his point of view. So, in the 17th century, when Italian scientist Galileo built a telescope to observe the planet, Venus showed phase and uh, there they found that orbit around the sun. That it, it is orbiting around the sun. He also found there are four moons revolving around the Jupiter. 